All right, guys. Today I'm gonna talk about a little something here. Uh, you know, the difference that small items that you can put in your pack would have. Um, this big good scenario here for this one. Uh, on this here, you know, sometimes winter time like we're into here can uh, be a hard time to acquire food or whatever. So one thing you can keep in your pack is uh, some copper thread. Um, you can take this part out of any little electrical motor or have this stuff in there. You can buy these. These this here I took off of something. So, uh, but yeah, you can buy this. Uh, what you can do with this is uh, snares, um, like squirrel snares, stuff like that. You don't want to use a uh, rope or nothing like that string because uh, what happens is they can chew that. This is a lot harder to chew through, but. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a squirrel snare here. This is a good time of year for this, and uh, it's it's definitely a good and effective means of securing food if need be. So what we have here is a leaning tree. It leans up into the cedars there. Squirrels, you know, they like to run up things to get to where they're going. One thing I'd like to do here is, first of all, is I'm going to take and I'm just going to make like a small noose in the end of this. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my end here. I'm going to twist me a little loop like so. I'm going to tie that just like I was tying a, you know, a knot. But instead of tying it and pulling it tight, what I'm going to do is pull it back down. like that and I'm just going to just like that right there and I'm just going to take this little flap end here and I'm going to twist it up just like that okay now what I'm going to have to do is, is figure out whereabouts I want this on this so you know the squirrel's going to run up this right here so somewhere in this area right here where he starts his incline, that's where I'm going to put this noose. So first thing I'm going to do for that, for that part of it is, I'm going to cut off what I think I'm going to need to get around the tree and to make my noose. And he won't be high enough off the ground where he can't touch the ground or something like that. And, uh, you want me to be so close to the ground that something else can wander along and snatch him up. So we're going to go up into here. And well, if he falls, you know, he's just going to hang right in here. It'd be hard for something to get him from that point there. We're on about approximately three and a half feet. Coyote or something like that could get him. I don't want to go up too high. Eh, we'll go up into here. We'll go up in here. So at this point here, what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to make my snare, just like this. That loop I put in the end of that, I want to take my free end here, and I want to put it in that loop right there. Because what happens is I just want that to slide down on his neck right there. And being wire, once that cocks, he's going to, it's going to twist a little bit, so he's not going to be able to get out of that. So once I do that, all I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to secure my wire. All I'm going to do is tie it on here. Give that a little tug, make sure it's not going to pull off there so easy. Now, once you get that secured like that, once you get that tied on, next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to take and form your noose. Just open it up just like that. You want it big enough for his head to get in there? 
but you don't want him to be able to pass through that. You just want his head to get in there. You want his shoulders to catch it. So I'm about three fingers wide. That's about what you want, about three fingers. It's simple. That's effective. And uh, they do work. Now, keep in mind when you set these, you want to go to the angle of which he's going to be coming up. So here, he's going to hit this. He's going to keep going. Boom. I'm going to have him right there. He's going to fight and struggle and carry on. He's just going to fall off and hang himself there. So just like that, that's exactly how I want it. You don't want that so big that he can just wander right through it. Just like that. All right. Something that easy. There's a little copper copper wire in your pack. That can, that can help you out in the long run. So, uh, well... If you like our videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft Survival. And uh, till the next one, that's it for this one. And P.S. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and, and we'll check this. So uh, hope you enjoy.